Welcome along everybody, it's the fastest day of the week. Qualifying Saturday and we're here in Abu Dhabi. Standing by. We've only got two laps of fuel left. Goodbye for now then, but really we're just getting started. Make sure to join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. the final chapter of the season then here at the spectacular Yas Marina circuit. It's a race where the pole sitter failed to finish in three of the first four events. A front row start here is by no means a guarantee of victory. So we go into battle once more then as we get underway at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. We have 16 corners here at the Yas Marina circuit, seven to the right and nine to the left. It's a total lap distance of 3.28 miles. Two long straights and overtaking opportunities throughout the lap. We expect average speeds of around 123 miles per hour. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. 
Surfer Girl lines up on pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Norris, Leclerc, Perez, Russell, Hamilton, Gasly, Magnussen, Albon, Oscar Piastri, Stroll, Bottas, Ricardo, Sargent, Fernando Alonso, Sainz, Ocon, Joe, and Nico Hülkenberg rounds off the grid. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. And alongside me in the commentary box, my old friend, Anthony Davidson. Yeah, a lot of races to cover these, these days in Formula One, Crofty, as you well know, doing them all yourself. But it's the same for the drivers. It comes at you thick and fast, and you've got to pace yourself as well to get to this point in the season. If it has gone your way, it's a great time to just enjoy it. If you, there's nothing that can change in the championship pecking order, of course, or if you've won the championship already, go out and enjoy this race and send yourself off through the winter break. If it's been a bit of a year to forget, you can try and take a bit of solace in this Grand Prix, end on a high and carry that energy into next season. So here we go then with the formation lap right here in Abu Dhabi. Around 50,000 spectators are all in the stands today, all hoping to see some fantastic racing. So as all the cars take their positions on the grid, the teams will be hoping their strategies pay off for them in today's race. The question I'm asking is which teams have got it right which ones have got it horribly wrong? when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Let's use overtake and burn off some of this energy. There are 
34 laps of fuel remaining. Okay, the incident's been cleared. Let's get back up to racing speed. Come on. Okay, clear. So we're leading our teammate by 7.4 seconds. behind 10.5 seconds they're on fresh mediums they're in 15th your last lap time one minute 31.8 okay mate picking your moments to use ERS is important so let's try and be as consistent as possible with it please
as things stand, will be second in the championship. Stay with them, they might make a mistake and we could still regain the position. is clear green flag. for a bit of understeer when trailing the car ahead. They're going to be giving off dirty air which is going to affect our tyres, so try to get past.
mate, you made that look easy. Nice work. That's why I love working with you. Smashed it. Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 13.1 seconds. job. Use your overtake button more. It's time to utilize some of this energy. Come on. now and you're going to be on hards next time. Lando's ahead of you now. Okay, gap to the car ahead, 2.6 seconds. They're on old mediums. Okay, they've done 10 laps on those tyres. We think they've got one more stop. And the time last lap, 1.30.8. You're losing around 7 tenths a lap at this pace. Okay, be aware, the grip levels are going to start falling away soon. P3, you're currently in P3. Norris just ahead, push for the position. They're on old mediums. Leclerc behind. Less than a second separates you. They're on old mediums. Okay, gap to leader, 5.0 seconds. Radar is clear, weather is looking good for now. Drys definitely seem like the fastest tyre at the moment. Tyre condition still looking good. Okay, we're boxing this lap. Give us the best in lap you can. The car behind is dropping back by about three tenths a lap. Well done.
Okay, mate, Lando ahead. We can't let them hold us up for too long, so let's try and get past as soon as possible and crack on. Push, push. Okay, clear. Remember, box this lap. Keep an eye on your distance and speed limit line as you approach and make sure you don't speed. Okay, some information on Piastri. They're retiring from the race. Okay, don't worry about that target for now. Let's just focus on this pit stop. Right, let's go, come on. Pit strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. You made it look so easy. Okay, Sainz is ahead of you. Okay, here's the gap that we're trading the car ahead by. 4.7 seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tyres are 13 laps old. We think they've got one more stop. Time last lap, 1 minute 32.2. We need to push now. Use the overtake button for more power. Daniel's in the pits. Twenty one laps of fuel left. Twenty one laps. Energy stores depleting, reducing our overall capacity. The more charge you hold, the faster that capacity will drop. Okay, mate, we've got some clear track in front of us, and let's make the best of it. So please make this next one a very fast lap.
tough. It looked like you made easy work of that target. Let's try and keep that going right through to the end of the race. to the next car is around three seconds. the chequered flag and the chequered flag on the season as well and what a season it's been we've had our ups and downs but you know what i've really enjoyed working with you and i hope we can do it again nice one mate see you back at the pits the chequered flag is out we're going to be hearing that dutch national anthem again because it's victory for max verstappen Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sports that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. celebrates the end of the season but I know a lot of you will be very sad out there thinking what are you going to do without Formula One? Don't worry folks, it'll be back before you know it. We'll see you next year.